Hi, today we're going to talk about how to change your default language on Shopify. Now, this video isn't directly related to Translate and Adapt, but because languages in Shopify impact Translate and Adapt, we're talking about it. And moreover, sometimes we get people who get frustrated about things that happen to their store and blame Translate and Adapt with that transition. It has nothing to do with Translate and Adapt. It's the way Shopify deals with translations. The first thing that you need to do before changing your default language is asking yourself, what is the goal? Generally, languages in Shopify appears in three different places and they serve three different purposes. This one inside settings languages is related to your content language. If you want your content in the store to appear in a different language, this is where you would change your default language. If you want to change how your admin looks like, so you want all these things to appear in a different language, you would go over here to manage account and you'll be able to switch to a different language. And then the whole admin is gonna look different, but of course that is not going to be the thing that would change your language. And if you want to change a language that your buyers see by default in a specific market, so I'm going to go to markets and I'm going to Austria, which is my primary market, which is what happens when someone like types this URL.com. That's what they're going to see first. So I'm going to go to Austria. I'm going to look at the languages that I have here and I see English is the default language. And people in Austria may be more comfortable with reading German. So the way to change that would be I'm going to set German over here as default and that would be it. Every time that someone would type in this URL, the first language that they're going to see is going to be German. After you decided the goal of doing this, if the goal is really to have the content in your store in a different language, then you need to back up all your language. This thing happens automatically. So you don't need to do anything when you change your default language because we know it's a destructive action. We will take a CSV and send it to your email with the backup of everything that was there before. So in case it doesn't work for you, you can revert back. If I go here to English and I say change default and I will pick German, for example, I will not go ahead, but you will see over here what happens. Any existing German translations will be deleted. I have, for example, a bunch of translations for stuff in my store and all of that is gone. Other things that might happen is I may have made changes specifically to my store for the checkout system and all of these would also change your templates, things in your theme. All this content is provided by Shopify by default for all the languages that appear over here. And if you do that, then any changes that you did to your previous store will get erased and it will basically reset back to the default content for, in this case, German. So let's just cancel it and see what else could change and like model kind of the pain that might happen if you do this thing. Step number three is make sure your store content matches the new default language. What do I mean by that? If I close this thing, I look at this product over here. This product is written in English. If I am now changing my default language to German, it's still going to be written in English. Let's have a look at how this looks like inside Translate and Adapt. So I'm gonna go to Translate and Adapt, for example. You can see Translate in German. You can see that I already have it in German. So if I, as I showed before, if I chose to kind of show in German in the specific market, that's what's going to be visible. But if you still want to go ahead, let's look at the, the way of doing this. I'm gonna choose to make default change. Um, and I already know that if I change to any of those languages, it's gonna erase all the German translations. So everything that I already did is literally going to be deleted. What it doesn't say here is that it's going to also erase English. So English will no longer be a language. It will be completely erased from your store and you'll have to add it as a language if you would want it uh, in your store again. And we already know that it's replacing the checkout and system and the theme. And it should also mention here that it's also going to change the notification. So if you have any emails that you prepared for your customers that are bespoke in English, 
those will also get deleted and you'll get the default one in German. So if you are ready to go ahead with all these uh, caveats and all the changes, if you still want to go ahead, let's see what happens uh, once I hit save. So I hit save, you can see English is no longer here, is gone. Everything that was in English, kaput, deleted. If I go back here to this product, you can see text is still in English because it's not something that the kind of change of default language deals with. And if I here, we'll go to translate and adapt for this one, which is kind of where the weird thing would happen. Let's imagine that I want to translate it to French, for example. You'll see that you will say German here and it will say French here, but the text here is gonna be in English. And so when I hit auto translate, the app is gonna get this weird scenario where it's trying to translate an English text that it thinks that is German into French. And you can get uh, major issues by doing that. And then in addition to that, it could be that I didn't even, I, I didn't at all wanted to like get rid of English. So if I want to add English, I'll have to go here, add English, add it to the specific markets that I want, and it will come with no translation. So I'll have to go to translate and adapt and translate stuff to English, but some of the content in my story is already in English. So you can see like where it's going. Very, very, very problematic. And that's why highly discourage you from ever doing something like this. The last piece that I want to talk about is a even worse scenario. If I go and do change default and I'm not gonna pick from this list, which has, as you can see, like things related to checkout and theme. If I choose other languages and now over here, I'm choosing, let's say African for that sake and whichever region, this thing comes even without the checkout system and the theme. So that means you literally will have a store with nothing in it, completely nothing. And you'll have to completely manually do everything by yourself. So if you choose to do and change, go and change default language, you need to ask yourself what your goal. Usually it can be accomplished via markets. You need to back up your languages and you need to make sure the store content matches the new default. And after you do that, you need to check all your store default theme content, the templates, the checkout and notifications, and you will need to check your translations to see that everything is okay if you want to go ahead with that. So I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you very much.